welcome back to Valtronic Designs. Today we have a great project for you that we're gonna walk you through in depth every single step. Behind me we have a 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee and we're going to put our valve mufflers in place of the OEM mufflers. These are applicable to every single vehicle, whether you have a truck, a Jeep, Subaru, these mufflers are packaged so that you can use them on your vehicle and enjoy loud and quiet sounds regardless if your car came with it from the factory. So again, in the kit, we've got two key fobs, our vacuum box, our power wire, a splitter to split the vacuum between the valves, antenna for the box, optional exhaust tips, and either one or two mufflers. These mufflers are two and a half inch, and obviously there's two of them. You can get a single two and a half, or you can do a three inch muffler kit. For this Jeep, the OEM piping is two and a quarter. So when we head to the exhaust shop to have them weld the mufflers on, we'll just have them do a two and a half inch pipe here. We'll remove this factory suitcase muffler. Okay, so what we've done is we've pulled the vacuum line from the trunk, which I'll show you in a moment, down through most, well, every car has their bumper vents that are behind the rear bumper on the left side and on the right side that when you close the doors, it releases so you don't have a negative pressure zone so you don't break the windows in the car. So you've got like little vents right here. What we've done, it's challenging to see. We've pulled the vacuum line all the way down from the trunk, down the side, through the vent, and down here to the mufflers. So this is gonna be the best way to get the vacuum line from the trunk into where the, the mufflers are so you can plug them in. It's a little bit of a challenge, but whichever way, if you wanna go through one of these grommets, you just wanna make sure that when you do this, you're putting it in a position where you're not gonna get water into the cabin. Going up to the side here where the vents are, there's an extremely small chance that you get any water in there. So, let's move on to the next step. Next part of the install. We've had everything lined up in here. We've got our vacuum box and our power wire. Our power wire has just been snaked underneath this trim piece. And for right now, we just have it plugged into the cigarette lighter on the side. We'll also be showing how to hardwire the system here in a little bit. It's very, very easy to hardwire. Inside here is just power and ground. You just need to tap into something which is power and ground. But make sure when you tap into something that you only tap in to something that is only on with power. Because if you tap into something that is always on, you're gonna drain the battery. Here as well, we have our vacuum line that's been snaked through. You can see down here, have our vacuum line, it's going to, this is the black wire. It's going to our vent our uh, negative pressure vent it's coming through we've got a hole here and everything's going to be tied into the vacuum box right here <clears throat> and then we'll plug in the power when we're ready so this is how you button up the trunk there is no, no right or wrong way to do it just make sure that you tuck everything away so that when you put your trunk and everything back together you don't ever want to see this you want it to be completely stealth and it's very very easy to hide everything so stay tuned to the next part we're going to show you how we install the mufflers at an exhaust shop and then get you guys some sound clips. So now everything has been installed underneath the trunk floor here. The best thing is with this kit, everything is quite small and this is the goal. You don't want to see anything back here, even this. We're going to hardwire this in a second, but you want to have this be completely clean and if you ever need to access anything, it's all right there for you. All right, so this is how it works. We're going to cut back here and then Poppy here is going to remake the pipe, put it into the valve muffler, and then we're gonna see if we can use some different tips or we'll reuse the OEM ones. There's a lot of length here and you can cut back and cut back the sides. That's why these are universal fit. There's a lot of space to work with under this Jeep. So if you wanna put these on your Jeep, your pickup, your whatever you want, you can make them work. Watch you sound. All right, so the guys did a fabulous job. We increased the pipe right here to two and a half, into the muffler, and then out to the OEM tips. Decided to keep the OEM tips because they match the bumper really well. Gonna connect up the vacuum lines right now, but install was super easy, super simple. Some movement there so that we can, as the car moves around, that was hot as shit. 
be in, be in really good shape here. Let's get the vacuum lines all connected up. All right, so we have everything set up. We've got our T-splitter here going to our driver's side muffler. And then on the passenger side, we have the same setup. Everything is wired up, zip tied in. And then the line, of course, runs up back into the car. So we're gonna set the car down, plug everything in, and then we'll get you guys some sound clips of how it sounds. All right guys, so we also decided to do a resonator delete on the Jeep. Here's what it sounds like idling with the valves open. Close them up, sounds just like stock. Get you guys some revs. Right, I figured this be good, valuable information for everybody. I'm driving around with the valves closed. Remember, this truck is pretty much straight piped with the valve mufflers, and it sounds just like stock in here. There's no drone. I'm gonna put a little throttle on. There's no low frequencies that are not customary to the stock exhaust. It sounds just like factory, which is exactly what you want. That's why these valve mufflers with the universal fit are so much better than a muffler delete because you don't have to deal with the annoying drone that normally comes with doing a muffler delete.